Hey there folks, Tim Slade here from eLearningUncovered.com. In one of my recent Articulate Storyline workshops, I was showing the class how to move objects across the screen using motion paths. This led to a couple of my students asking if it would be possible to create a repeating motion path in Storyline 2. Not only is it possible to create repeating motion paths in Storyline 2, but it's actually an effect that I've used many times in my own e-learning projects. Let me show you how I do it. Here's a slide I've been working on. I'd like to add a repeating motion path to physically make the moon orbit the Earth. I'll start by selecting the graphic of the moon and adding a motion path to it from the Animations tab. You'll notice here, one of my motion path options is a circle, which I'll go ahead and select. Now, before I continue, you can see that the motion path is more of an oval rather than a circle. So I'll fix this by simply adjusting the resizing handles to make the motion path align with the dotted line. Perfect. Now that I've added my motion path to the moon graphic, I'll quickly preview it so you can see what it looks like. All right, as you can see, there's still a few things I need to fix. First and foremost, the moon only orbits around the Earth once, but also it moves far too quickly and the speed is inconsistent. To make the moon move a bit slower, I'll return to the animations tab and increase the duration of the motion path. In this case, I'll try setting the duration to 7 seconds and see how that looks in a moment. I'll also click on the Path Options dropdown and turn off the directional easing. This setting is what makes an object speed up and slow down as it moves along a motion path. Now that I've adjusted the speed of the motion path, I'll preview it again to see how it looks. Alright, that's much better. Now the final thing I want to do is make the motion path repeat itself, which is actually pretty easy. Unlike entrance and exit animations, which are controlled by adjusting an object's timing on the timeline, motion paths are controlled using triggers. If I look over here at my triggers panel, you'll notice I have a single trigger for the motion path I just applied to the moon graphic. This trigger was automatically created when I added the motion path, and it's telling Storyline to move the moon graphic on the motion path when the timeline starts. Now, to make this motion path repeat itself, all I need to do is duplicate this trigger by clicking the copy and paste buttons here and make some minor adjustments to it. Now that I've duplicated the trigger, I'll double click on it to edit it with the trigger wizard. The second trigger is going to do pretty much the same thing as the first one. All I need to change here is the setting for the when dropdown. Instead of when timeline starts, I'll select when animation completes and then select the motion path under the animation dropdown. And that's it. The addition of this second trigger is what makes the motion path repeat itself indefinitely. I'll click OK, and now I'll preview this one last time to show you the final effect. As you can see, as the moon orbits around the Earth, it seamlessly continues over and over again. And that's how easy it is to create a repeating motion path in Articulate Storyline 2. If you'd like to download this storyline file, click on the link in the description. Enjoy! Hey. I know you really like that video, so if you're watching this on YouTube, give us a thumbs up, and then go check out some of our other great content at elearninguncovered.com.